Yo, I just discovered the biggest Etsy trend for December 2025. It's huge and it's not one of those Fox yarn trends that we talked about last week. This is a completely new trend that kind of popped off recently in the last week or so. I'm telling you, I don't know what's happening this year, but we got so many new trends so quickly. Like the red ribbon one that exploded last week. Now we got this rush stroke trend that's insanely popular. If you don't believe me, check out this store right here. You can see their profits. You can see their listings with this trend. 11 purchases in the last 24 hours, which for Etsy standards, that's pretty, pretty good. Here's another example of that, of another story. Got a couple sales just today. But what is also interesting is that these digital products are sold in a new way that nobody else has been doing it so far. So in this video, I wanna go over what is this trend? Why is it booming? How can you make digital products in that style and sell them on Etsy? And more importantly, what is this new way of selling these type of products? And if you don't know me, my name is Patrick. I've been selling digital products on Etsy since 2023 and I make about six to eight thousand dollars a month from all my Etsy shops that are selling digital products and print on demand products as well. And I'm talking about profit not sales. You can watch my videos when I show you my monthly revenue. I have a couple of these videos. I'm also the founder of Creatorium AI which is the best tool in my opinion to research viral Etsy products specifically digital products and print on demand products and also create these viral designs really really fast and in bulk. I also sell on TikTok shop and all their platforms but it's a topic for another video so as i mentioned earlier the trend is called rush stroke christmas and those are digital designs for people that want to buy them and then later on put them on a t-shirt sweatshirt or maybe they do print on demand and they look for designs that they can resell so the idea is that you design this type of digital print that's what it's called you use ai to create this and you sell them as a png as a digital file on etsy with commercial license for other people to be able to put them on print on demand products or maybe they just want to use it for themselves. Take a look at this screenshot right here. And you can see that the Christmas rush stroke is on the rise, has a pretty strong uptrend in the last seven days and also pretty huge growth in the last seven days as well, which means there has been a lot of new listings in that particular keyword that have been getting a lot of traction. And the style itself looks just like the name suggests, like it was using brush and did some strokes to create these designs. Very often you see pictures of Christmas trees, Santa Claus, cookies, anything related to Christmas really. And they usually use a lot of pastel colors like pink, turquoise, I think that's the name of it. Sometimes a little bit of green and these light bluish greenish colors. Usually a lot of pink, which in itself, it's an extremely popular color this year. Last year for Christmas, the very popular color was silver and I would say white. This time around, seems like that pastel colors and pink specifically are really taking over. And last week I made a video about the yarn style that's extremely popular right now as well, which kind of exploded out of nowhere too. If you haven't seen it, you can watch my last video. It's also a very useful information. But what some of you guys know in our Discord group, I was talking about the style that some of these listings are being sold, which is kind of new. And I predicted that this might be a new way of selling these digital prints. And this Christmas brush stroke listing that you see on the screen right now is a proof of that. So what's very interesting about this listing is that they're selling a bundle of digital prints, which you don't see very often. Usually you see individual PNGs being sold as one listing. Here we got couple put up in the bundles, which resembles the strategy that people use on in Clipart where when they put a bunch of Clipart elements together and they'll sell them as a bundle. And it's exactly what's happening here. And last week I predicted this in the group that this is going to be a successful new strategy of selling digital prints. And since these things are being sold in the bundle, you might be thinking, oh my God, that's so much work. No, not really. I'm going to show you how you can make these images relatively fast and I know exactly which one you want to sell using AI. Okay, so to create these designs, I'm going to use Creatorium AI, which is a tool that will simplify the whole process. Again, this is a tool I built for myself to speed up the whole process of finding viral products and making viral designs. In my opinion, my tool is the best. If you want to try it, go to Creatorium AI. Here's the discount code. You can get it and use it to get 20% off. There's a free trial that you can also try and see if you like it or not but the free stuff is not going to give you a lot i'm just being honest with you and if you don't believe that my tool is the best well let's let's do this anyone who used creatorium ai let me know in the comments what do you think about it be honest be as honest as you can i want to hear your opinion okay i appreciate the feedback but here's the process 
we're going to go use the tool called Etsy Research first. Why? Because we want to know which designs are working, okay? And in the Etsy Research app, there is a section that says Keyword Research, okay? So what this thing is doing, it's scanning Etsy for the viral keywords, and this is being updated every day. And this is based on a lot of different factors. This is a custom algorithm that I built. And as you can see, we got Brastro Christmas right here with eight new listings added in the last seven days. As you can see, it's a pretty strong uptrend. Maybe not as strong as the Thanksgiving turkey one, but still is relatively strong and the cool thing about it is when i click on it it's gonna show me viral listings with their keywords i can just click on one of them for example and right away i see which designs are working right so we got this one right here with 12 purchases in the last 24 hours we got this one right here with three purchases in the last 24 hours or this one right here with two purchases in the last 24 hours what i can also do is copy the name of the brushstroke christmas keyword and go to the viral listing view which will show me all the listings with the keyword right away so i can just type Type in the keyword and click enter and now i see all the listings with that keyword that are going viral in the last week and i can click on it and there is this tool called crop for ai which will allow me to get a sample of that design you know what this one has text here i don't like this let's pick a different one let's uh let's do this one right here i like this one y'all crazy so let's do crop for AI right here. And what I'm doing right now is I want to get a sample of the design and I'm going to save the crop. And now I have the sample with just the design itself. And I'm going to feed it to AI and teach AI to create something similar in a similar style. So now we're going to go to the AI image and text generator and I'm going to upload that crop photo that I just took. And there's a feature called get AI prompt, which will generate the prompt that will be capable of creating something very similar to what you see right now. And I have six different AIs that I can use to generate. I feel like Flux and Sea Dream 4 are gonna be the best ones for this particular style. I just know from experience that these AIs do very well with text and with getting the same style. So let's try Flux context first. We're gonna use this prompt that AI just generated. We're gonna generate the first photo and I'm also gonna click on get variants because get variants is a very useful tool which will allow me to keep the same style but generate a lot of different styles in bulk very very fast and you can see we got the first one and it's really cool the text is great it's different than the original but it has the same color palette the same elements so we're keeping this stuff the same right i can also remove background really quick so let's do that and see how it's gonna look like without background okay cool i like it let's download this design without the background and i'm still waiting for the eight variants to be generated so once we have that we're gonna click on generate all and we're gonna see what type of variants we're gonna get from this tool okay so we got our eight variants so i can just click on individual one to create if i want to or i can generate all of them at once and let's do that really quick and now all the variants gonna show up right here and we got the first one sugar and sassy i like this so as you can see that's the point of the get variant one so it keeps the same style but it's replacing the subject very often and the text so we got sugar and sass right so we we are very far from this one now but in the same style, so we get sugar and sass. You can also see that like it catches the vibe of that thing very well. So it knows it's supposed to be like kind of funny, kind of like cute and sugar and sass is perfect. That it's also supposed to be like related to Christmas. No problem, llama. I, I don't know about this one. This one is, I don't know, maybe it could work. Uh, ornamental, I like this one. This one is very cool and very cute. I like this one a lot. Frosty and Fabulous. I like this one a lot. This one is really, really good. Then we got Elf Made This. This is, this is really funny. And then look at the design of the elf. Really cool. Candy Roar. Okay, this, could, this one could work for like kids. Then we got Twirl Twirl Bells. I like this one too. This one is really good too. Lit and Prickly. Uh, I don't know about this one. But I would say six out of the eight designs are very good and I could use them really good. So we can remove background directly from this app right here and have our designs be ready for selling. Okay, so I'm going to download the ones that don't have a background right now. And boom, this took me less than two, three minutes. I don't even know how long they took. It was very, very fast, but I created nine designs extremely fast. 
Okay, another cool thing that you can do very, very fast with my tool is that you can create SEO titles specifically optimized for Etsy. So Etsy released this new update a couple months ago explaining that they don't like when you stuff keywords into their titles. They want them to be logical because they use AI now to scan Etsy, figure out the context, and AI is capable of figuring out the context of your title, of your listing, and SEO. So we have this tool called SEO, SEO Generator, which is based on our data that we have from the keywords and from the viral listings and on Etsy newest laws and policies in regards of SEO. So what you can do here is you can either put the title of the keyword you want to use. So our main keyword is brush stroke Christmas, right? Um, but we want to put them in a bundle. So I would just say bundle and I can click on generate SEO and I'm going to get a title that's specifically designed for that. But I'm going to show you a cooler way of doing this and in my opinion, better way of doing this. But first, let's get the first title. OK, so I got the title Brastro Christmas Bundle Colorful Holiday Graphics for the OI Project. OK, and this is SEO optimized based on our data of the viral listings. OK, and then I got the 13 tags that I can use on Etsy. I can just click on copy title or copy tags and paste them. And I also got sentences that I can use in the description to boost my SEO in the description as well. So title is the most important thing in the SEO, then tags, and then the descriptions, okay? But there's this cool feature right here where you can upload an image from the history. So once I click on history, I'm going to see the list of all the images I created and I can favor them so I can have the ones I like on the top. But those are the listings that I created, right? So let's do the one with the y'all are nuts, right? So I'm going to click on it. And now I can just let AI figure out what should be a good title for this one. And I can click on generate new version based on the image. So let's see what type of title this is going to create based on the image it sees and our data. I'm actually curious to see what type of title is going to come up with. OK, so the new title is Nutcracker Holiday Decor. Brighty color illustration for festive cheer. OK, this is fine, but it didn't catch the Christmas brush stroke because it's missing that context. But that's fine because you can combine the target keyword with the image and get exactly what you want. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to add the brush through Christmas target keyword with the picture. And let's see if our AI is going to figure out the context and give us the best title that we are looking for. OK, and check this out. We got brush through Christmas Nutcracker art print colorful holiday decor. And this is really good. OK, this is what we are looking for. It knows the nutcracker and it knows the keywords that will work for this. But I just noticed one more thing. It's also missing the fact that this is a digital print. We need to tell it as well. So we need to add digital print as a target keyword. So let's do one more test to get the title we are trying to get. Sometimes you need to help AI figure out the context. And now we got exactly what we're looking for. We got the brush through Christmas digital print. That's exactly what it is. Whimsical Nutcracker. This is very interesting because the word whimsical, it's a specific style that's very popular on Etsy right now. It's a very popular keyword. And I can see that the, the AI has figured out that that keyword is very important. I also like that they figure out the holiday decor which is also a very popular keyword in the last couple of weeks. But boom, we are ready to make money now. So the strategy here would be to create a bundle of, let's say, 20 to 30 images. And in my opinion, you can sell these bundles for as much as eight, nine dollars. I know the example I showed you earlier, they were selling their listing for three dollars, which in my opinion is a little bit silly because I've seen people selling these bundles for eight and nine dollars as well. And you don't have to be that cheap. Once you target yourself as a high value store, you're going to attract people that appreciate high value designs. And there you have it, guys. If you want to try Criterium AI, I have a discount code for you. It's going to give you 20% off the first month. Once you subscribe, you can also join our weekly meetings on Discord and our community where you can talk to other people that do sell digital prints on Etsy or print on demand products on Etsy and also do TikTok and other things as well. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, drop a like. But that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you next time. Bye bye, friends.